2,500 years ago, in 5th century BC Athens, Sophocles said, he who neglects the arts is lost to the past and dead to the future. That's what we are trying to prevent. come from one single archaeological site, a very special place, the Ashmun Temple. Ashmun Temple was built in the 6th century before Christ by Ashmunazar, the Phoenician king, in dedication to Ashmun, the god of healing and long life. The bull's head, the calf bearer, and the torso speak to that extraordinary heritage of the Lebanese people. So when I first became aware that the bull's head had been located in the Metropolitan Museum of Art and may have been looted from Lebanon, I jumped at the opportunity to do something, not realizing, of course, where it was going to lead. We began investigating in the district attorney's office the background of the bull's head and we quickly learned that it had been stolen during the Civil War. Once we were able to develop the necessary evidence to seize the bull's head, we did as part of a criminal investigation. From there, we were able to determine that there were other pieces here in New York that belonged to the Lebanese people. We saw them at the DA's office the first time when they were uh, being unpacked and uh, inspected by us. The Consul General wanted the community to see and be proud of that moment that they're being repatriated. So we transport them to the Consulate General of Lebanon on the Upper East Side of New York to display So we're here in front of the Lebanese consulate in New York City, the celebration of the repatriation of three amazing objects to Lebanon. We're uh, experiencing a uh, historic moment. And this moment is extremely special for all of us. This is very impressive. It's beautiful. The pieces are beautiful. They're still in great shape. The value of this shipment was $10.5 million. Uh, the safety of these uh, pieces were of utmost concern to us. We did not want to take any chances of these pieces being damaged while they were being searched and inspected at the airport. So we took them to a private inspection facility under our control. The three artifacts were finally delivered to their home at the National Museum of Beirut in Lebanon. delighted to be here today as we unveil these five outstanding artifacts. What a joy is to examine them. And I think if you look around this wonderful museum, you will see not just an exhibit of what is Lebanon's history, but this is our history as, as a world. This is global history here. These pieces expose for all to see the global international trafficking network that is enabling the looting and pillaging of cultures across the world. Just to be in front of a piece of this importance or this beauty definitely makes a huge impact on your person, on your mood, on your attitude. It's something that is vital to our life. Whenever we come across one of these extraordinary pieces of humanity, because that's really what we're talking about, there is a flood of emotion. For every one we recover, I know there are dozens and dozens more that we haven't gotten to yet, and that haunts me. <laughs> 